Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a cool one for you today. Factory 5's GTM Supercar. This baby is sweet, guys. She is amazing, and I can't wait to show it to you. Now, if you want to check out about 100 pictures of her, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're going to get it up on the lift so you can see how slick the bottom side is. We're going to take a look at the interior. We're going to take a look at the uh, motor compartment back there. LS6, Porsche Transaxle. You're going to love checking this one out. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. So come on up and let's fire it up. She is a black beauty. Whoever did the body work and the paint work on the car, she is phenomenal. All these curves look great. This paint is laid on here, slick as can be. The headlight covers look fantastic. Look at those wheels and tires. Man, they are sweet. The interior's amazing. Just awesome. And take a look at that LS6 underneath that back window there. What a sweet looking ride here. Got the big airfoil on the back. Look down the side of it. She is amazing. She is straight as can be. What a fantastic supercar. I tell you, we were driving this baby down the expressway the other day. Everybody on the expressway was checking us out driving this beautiful car. Now, if you want to check out about 100 pictures of her, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. Now we own all of our inventory here at Vanguard. We are not a consignment dealer. We have over 185 muscle cars and street rods in stock and we own each and every one of them. Now let's take a look under the, uh, at the interior here. So we got a key fob here for the door. Isn't that cool? Check this beauty out. Now she's got the Corvette style button here for popping the doors open on the inside. It's got the racing buckets in it. Beautiful interior. Now it's got a removable steering wheel so it's nice and easy to get in and out of it. Um, she is just an amazing supercar. We'll be outside driving this baby in a minute showing off this beautiful car. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. Let's go for a ride in our GTM Factory 5 Supercar. Man, is this cool. I love this 
this little hot rod. I tell you what, you want to talk about an attention getter, this is it. Look down here on the dash. All the gauges look great, everything's working. It's got the uh, cool radio in it. Dash has got some suede and it looks like leather and stitching in it. It's amazing and I tell you, this thing handles like it's on rails. That LS6 out back is making a ton of power. We had this baby up on the expressway. Everybody who saw it was cranking their head around, checking this beauty out. And when you want to go, she will go. It is amazing. Just touch the accelerator and you're just flying in this baby. Like I said, the handling is amazing. Now, the size of this car. I'm six foot tall. I weigh 240. I fit in here just fine. The steering wheel comes off. It's a little bit of a challenge being 54 years old, getting in and out, but I can get in and out. And the coolness factor is worth every bit of embarrassment of getting in and out of the door. This thing is sweet, guys. Now we can ship this supercar anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974. 9513. Listen to the pipes a little bit. <laughs> That's about a quarter throttle. Boom, right now. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, I'd love to get this baby on the track and open her up. She is amazing. She's downshifting great. She's got that Porsche transaxle. You see, everybody that drives by has got a smile on their face checking this beauty out. And the black doesn't hurt either, man. She is sweet. So give us a call. We'll park this dream in your driveway. Now stick around because we're going to put this baby up on the lift and we're going to check out the underside. This is our shop right here at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. So stick with us. All right, guys, we're underneath our GTM now. Unfortunately, Greg couldn't be in the shop today, so I'm going to take you guys through the undercarriage video. I mean, you can see this big uh, carbon fiber rear end piece that goes on the car like an airfoil. Very, very cool. Uh, very, very supercar-esque. Uh, moving forward to that, normally we start with the engine. Uh, we're actually, we end with the engine uh, in our undercarriage videos, but in this particular vehicle, the engine's in the back. So this is actually the engine and transmission here. It actually has a transaxle in it. This is actually a Porsche transaxle. I believe it's called a G50. Uh, this particular thing, it's a five speed. Um, you got your hydraulic clutch here. Um, I think uh, more, more in depth on that, it's about a 355 to one rear end ratio, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, with the five speed, very, very streetable, very, very you know, freeway friendly. However, with this uh, particular car, it'll really haul some ass. Um, let's see here, moving forward to that. Uh, this, all this suspension components, most of this stuff is Corvette stuff. Um, I, I believe the brakes actually are Corvette as well, but they are very nice uh, slotted and uh, grilled discs. Uh, you got all of your nice stainless Goodyear lines on the thing. Very, very high quality build. You got a Wix filter on the motor, which means they cared about it. I'm a fan of Wix filters myself. Big, thick tires on this thing, and we're going to get uh, to the size when we go to do our wheels and tires. I mean, you can see the frame structure of this thing is very, very strong. I mean. This thing is built to really move down the freeway and apparently it rides very, very nice too, which is really surprising with as sturdy as this thing looks. But then again, you've got a lot of modern aftermarket, modern and a combination of modern and aftermarket uh, components on this thing. In the middle of the car, they've actually hidden most of the stuff, probably for uh, reasons of like air drag and things of that nature. There's really not much here. I mean, it's all just uh, paneling really. But it, you can tell that the guys that make this are the same guys that make the Cobras because you can see the construction is fairly similar. Um, moving forward to this, because I mean it's all just paneled up. Uh, the front end on this thing, uh, once again I've been told it's all Corvette stuff, uh, you know, more modern Corvette stuff I should say more specifically. You got your Goodyear lines up here, uh, same good stuff. You got uh, your slotted and drilled rotors as well. Um, nice, uh, looks like adjustable spring and uh, shock up here. I mean, all of the ball joints and all that stuff, obviously it's of no surprise that it's new because the car was built not uh, too long ago. It's a very nice car underneath, very well built. I mean, these guys have been in business for a very long time and there's a reason for it. Uh, they, they designed some pretty cool stuff. Let's check out the wheels and tires. 
All right, guys, on the front of this thing, we have a set of Z-rated tires on this thing. Very important for a car that's going to run at the speeds that this thing is capable of running at. Uh, specifically, they're a 235-35Z R19. And the Z, all that means is these things are speed rated. Uh, Toyo makes these, and uh, it has a Forgiato rim on the thing. This is a two-piece rim. Um, it uh, bolts on from the back, so it's uh, more of like a more performance style sort of thing here. And you can see these big, big brakes that this car has. Uh, let's go check out the rears. All right, same good looking rim back here, two piece rim, same as the front. These tires obviously are a lot more meaty. We've got 345-25Z speed rated R20. Big, big tires, and uh, Toyo makes these as well. So I guess now we're going to uh, lift up, I guess, not so much the hood, but the back hatch and check out the motor. All right, guys, here it is. Underneath this hatch here, we have an LS6 engine here that's all in aluminum block. It's 2001, uh, more specifically. You can see this really awesome intake they've got on it. It's all fuel injected, you know, just like it uh, would be from GM. Right there, you can see that uh, Get Reg manufactured G50 Porsche transaxle right there. Uh, everything looks like it's in good shape on it. I mean, the exhaust is beautiful. It still has catalytic converters on the thing, but other than that, there are basically no mufflers on this car. Uh, and, and it really lets this engine sing. And it's not, you know, overpoweredly droning, you know, driving the car. I mean, I've been in it, uh, Greg's been in it, you can tell. It's uh, actually really not that bad to drive, you know, as much as this is super car-esque as it is. Uh, you can see here that this uh, canister over here is like an overflow tank for your radiator. A very nice TIG welded aluminum piece, uh, obviously aftermarket. Um, once again, you can see a lot of the frame structure back here. It, it looks to be very, very well engineered. A lot of the electrical stuff like that, you know, all of the factory stuff still is maintained in this engine, so you don't have to worry about any drivability issues. Every time we went to go start this thing, it fires right up, no problem. I believe that to be the computer right there uh, in this corner here. I mean, this thing is just a downright nice car. All aluminum back here, so it's very light. Uh, all the bushings look like they're in good shape. All the ground straps look like they're there, and they, all the spots with the ground straps connect are all nice and clean on this thing. So I think someone, when they went to go build this car, they did a very good job of making sure that, you know, they crossed all their T's, dotted all their I's, etc., etc. Well, I suppose that about wraps this part of the video up. You guys like to have this, uh, I guess really you'd call it a supercar. Uh, in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this thing in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're going to give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.